Hi everyone, welcome back to Excellent YouTube channel. I'm CY Song. It's about the end of year uh, 2022 and I wonder how have you been? I believe uh, you are still in the journey uh, making some progress in pursuing your goals and dreams. Uh, no matter how challenging it may be, uh, do hang in there as uh, it's a developmental process and I know uh, you can get through it. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what are the good trading habits you need to develop as a trader. Of course, uh, there are many good trading habits. Uh, here, I am going to share with you the three good trading habits which I believe are essential in helping you to improve your trades. When you are able to develop these uh, three habits, you will begin to see for yourself that uh, trading is not as complicated or difficult as you think it is. And you will also see some improvements in your trading and your lifestyle as well. Click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as we will be producing new informative contents every week for you to help you improve your game as a trader. So let's get started. The first good trading habit is to always use excess money to trade. If you want to win in trading, you can't be afraid to lose. The activity of trading or even investing involves the risk of losing money. So it's important you use excess money to trade. Trading with scared money, uh, that means uh, trading with money that you cannot afford to lose. For example, uh, money that you need to use for your daily life, money you need to pay for your rental, uh, your mortgages and even car loans, uh, money that you need uh, to pay for your uh, grocery budgets or any funds needed to pay for your own or even your family living expenses. These are what we call as the scared money, money that you can't afford to lose. So. Trading with scared money is a surefire way to fail in trading very, very quickly. Using the money that you cannot afford to lose in trading is a huge mistake. And never, ever trade with scared money because it will create a lot of uh, unnecessary stress and anxiety if you trade with scared money because uh, not every trading day uh, is going to be a profitable day and there will be times when you lose money in trading. So it's always a best practice to use excess money uh, to trade. Excess money are uh, savings that uh, you can spare it out uh, to take risk in your trading. Money that uh, even if you lose it completely, uh, it will not uh, affect your day-to-day -day living and uh, your lifestyle so that uh, during periods of downtime you are not stressed out or anxious about how your trading performance affect your living expenses or even your lifestyle so number one good trading habit is that always use excess money to trade the second good habit in trading is to always prepare for the worst case scenario to happen because at least you know how to cope up with it and you know what to do next. Although in trading, we wish to make a profitable uh, trades by expecting the best to happen, while at the same time, we need to be always be cautious to be uh, prepared for the worst to happen as well because we can't really anticipate anything that is uh, unforeseeable and uncertain which is why risk management and money management are so crucial that we are able to minimize our risk in trading so that our trading account does not blow up so in trading it's always important to survive first so you can trade another day Always be prepared for the worst so you can take the necessary action without getting paralyzed by any surprises. 
And lastly, the third good trading habit is whether you can reduce your time in monitoring the market. You know, although it is tempting to constantly uh, keep monitoring the market the whole day to know that you're trading results. Well, keep looking at it from time to time in a single day uh, won't make the market move in the direction you want anyway, right? Unless you are a day trader, then yes, you need to spend a lot of effort and time monitoring the market. And if you are a position uh, trader, you don't really need to track the market so closely every single day. Because anyhow, a trend do takes time to develop. You got to be patient in riding along the trend. Uh, you can select some of the critical hours uh, in a day to just have a quick uh, check at the market. For example, you can take the opening hours, midday or even the closing hours just to have a check about you know, what the market is going on. When you are able to reduce the time monitoring the market, you will uh, begin to realize that uh, trading isn't really that complicated or difficult thing uh, to do. So that's it. I've shared with you the three good trading habits, which are some of the best practices in trading. You can have some of the self-reflection uh, to reflect upon yourself and review how you can integrate all of these good habits into your trading so you can improve your trading and becoming a better trader. If you find this video informative and useful to you, Please share this video and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, this is CYSO wishing you a happy new year and may the market be with you. Good luck and good trading.